Hello everybody, this is White Wolf. We're gonna be talking about vulnerability. We're gonna be talking about sensitivity. We're gonna be talking about compassion and how you can have unconditional love for yourself, for everybody around you. And just to have this stability within yourself to know that you can be compassionate without feeling like you have to delve into the human compassion, but the divine compassion, the unconditional love of compassion and to realize that it's okay to be sensitive. It's okay to embrace your sensitivity. It's okay to embrace your vulnerability. When we embrace our vulnerability, what we're doing is that we are essentially allowing ourselves to heal. Healing comes from vulnerability. Healing comes from sensitivity. And once you have that sensitivity, you have divine sentience. You're able to feel, but it's not feeling your own feelings. It's not feeling a negative sensation. It's not feeling anger. It's not feeling into many different energies. But what you're feeling and what you're tapping into is the feeling of vibration. You're allowing yourself to feel into the vibration as it comes, as it goes, as it is, as it will be. So with life, you have to take things by vice versa and take it with a grain of salt and also as it comes and as it goes. So if you're feeling a lot of guilt or you're feeling a lot of condemnation or you're feeling a lot of not letting go of the past and not letting go essentially. So with this sensitivity, with this vulnerability, what you're doing is that you're allowing yourself to be more open to what spirit wants out of you and you're able to be a person that receives heavily the divine feminine receives heavily so you're allowing yourself to have a receptive mode when you're embracing your compassion when you're embracing the love within yourself and maybe you were a person that did not love themselves for a very long time and now you're finally loving yourself you're finally in love with your life in love with who you are in love with what you represent in this life what you want the manifestations to be within your life within the scope of your life so understanding that with sensitivity with vulnerability comes great expansion comes great fluctuations within your energy sometimes you will feel very sensitive or feel that there will be a lot of triggers along the way but that only comes with healing. It only comes with understanding and also receiving reflections and also being able to reverse the reflections into something really positive. This isn't denial. But now that you've healed through the reflection, now that you've seen through it, seen through the illusion of it, seen through why it was not working, why it was not serving you, now you're able to reverse the reflection. You're able to reverse it into a positive light, into a positive scope into a way that you can see it and not be hurt by it or feel into a feeling or have a negative thought about it. So sometimes our thoughts are not our thoughts. Sometimes our thoughts are really not what they are. Sometimes our projections are not projections, but they are easier ways to guide us to the truth. Sometimes when someone says something to you and then it makes you mad and you're like, oh, fuck you, you said that. And it really got to the truth of what it was. It really hit home with you. It really struck a chord with you because you knew what that person was saying was somewhat true or that it it could have been non-resonance, but I don't believe a lot of the times if someone projects at you and you stay calm and firm and not be shaken by what they say because you have an awareness for it and you realize that you respect and you love their projection on you or it really lands it triggers makes you angry it makes you see through the truth of what they are projecting upon you and also sometimes when people are projecting themselves they are actually speaking about themselves at the same time so you have to have clear precise discernment within that so when you have clear precise discernment within that you're able to look at it with a good perspective with an aligned perspective with the perspective it's god's perspective so you see with god's perspective and you're able to look at it from a different vantage point so now with this divine feminine teaching you can embrace your sensitivity. You can actually support the masculine because the divine feminine supports the masculine. Because 
the divine masculine needs the divine feminine. And I truly think that the divine feminine needs the divine masculine. They need to coexist as one. So you can't win by being too masculine. You can't win by being too authoritative, making too many actions, making too many impulses, just acting on whatever happens or just pursuing things with no good reason. That's where the divine feminine comes in. Now, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, excuse me, protects you. It protects you. It stands in your power, stands in your authority, stands in your wisdom, but then the divine feminine comes in and it allows it to be a perfect union where you're able to have love and wisdom. So the, the way that you can clarify it is saying that the divine masculine and the divine feminine is love and wisdom put together, which is harmony, wisdom, unity, balance, clarity, clear vision, provision. It allows you to understand that there is an endless provision that is here for us all. So when you understand this, you can comfortably go through your life and understand that everything is perfectly in alignment in where it needs to be. And it's just waiting for us to embrace our sensitivity. So embracing your sensitivity will allow you to open up more channels within yourself when you lay your heart bare on a silver platter and you allow the metaphysical surgeons to work on you, to renew you, to revitalize you, to allow you to cope with life's problems. Or let's not call them problems. Let's not call them trials or tribulations like I usually do, but some people have to look at it that way. But just look at them as catalysts. Just look at them as reflections. Just many optical illusions that are inside of this third dimensional reality. So Mother Mary energy, Jesus' mother, is very caring, it's very nurturing, it's very unconditional love. It's not biased. Lady Magdalene is the apostle before the, all of the other apostles. She is power, she is authority, she does what is right even when it's tough and rigid and challenging, right? So with these two female idols, if you will, these spiritual idols. You listen to them every day. <laughs> um, with that, you can take a lot of wisdom from that, from those two wonderful beings, because they were a symbol of strong divine feminine nature, wisdom, and energy. Because they both had a journey, and a prolific journey, to spread love, belonging, love, and light, and psychic atomic energy. So when you're trying to be sensitive, or more caring, or more nurturing, or changing the way that you react to things instead of being proactive, now you can be proactive with the way that you go about life. Now you can be proactive about your life instead of reactive, instead of internalizing everything. The divine feminine allows you not to internalize every single thing. Because I think a lot of people in life, they internalize every single thing. So I will stop talking in a moment because I wanna do some healing energy and I don't know how much storage I have on my phone. But I wanted to give this brief topic so that you can use these techniques so that you can be more comfortable with your feminine but also allow the masculine to be more comfortable with your feminine and allow them to coexist and not to be too masculine and not to be too feminine and just to be that yin and that yang that infinity signature so this is true spiritual symbolism here so i wanted to do a divine feminine activation so receive and breathe into these energies. We're gonna call upon Mother Mary, Lady Magdalene. Help us tap into the essential oils of source, the aqua river flow of God's source energy. Now we're gonna call upon some masculine energy Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel connect into these beings.
allow you to be the comfort, the stability, the security, the safety that you're seeking and allow yourself to be vulnerable, to be open, to allow yourself to be a vessel of true love, of true wonder, of splendor, of miracles, of love and light. And allow the metaphysical surgeons to work on you, to allow them to make you whole, to allow them to nurture you, to teach you, to guide you. Allow the divine feminine and the masculine to come into balance, to be co-creators, to be co-existers over this cosmic plane of abundance. Ignore the noise, ignore all the chatter, all of the stresses of life. Ignore the triggers, but if you have to accept the triggers and love it first and then ignore it and let go of it and realize that it's not serving you, do that first. Feel this energy, accept this energy and accept healing within your meditative state. Just know everything is the healing journey. You are the healing journey and you're the world at large. So go large, go big or go home or stay home if you want to. You don't always have to go big all the time. Sometimes it's okay to stay home. Allow yourself to breathe. Exhale. Breathe. Exhale. And then breathe once more. Exhale. We're gonna call upon the black dragon from Saturn to tap into the divine feminine as well. We're gonna tap into the dark blue galactic dragon to tap into our fifth dimensional blueprint. And what I'm doing is stupa mudra energy. Find your center. Find what speaks to you. Allow yourself to rest.
Now we're going to tap into the camel's energy because it's forbearing and patient. Because camels change the energy wherever they go, so we're going to implement that knowledge and change the energy wherever we go. That word, that beacon of light, that word, that divine masculine, but also that divine feminine energy that changes and balances out and recalibrates the energy wherever we go. As this is coming to a close, take one last deep breath. Exhale. When I snap my fingers, you'll come back too. You'll have a greater sense of clarity. You'll know who you are and you'll become the oracle of love, light, and wisdom. Now. So, I thought that was very educational, so I hope you took a lot from that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're on Facebook watching, like it, share it out. And also, I have a TikTok. I just posted a YouTube short. So whenever I post this, I will. And thank you. Live, laugh, love. And tap into the masculine and the feminine all at once. So thank you. This is White Wolf. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that quick energy blast. I do have longer videos that will be coming to, I just have to get a laptop, so I'll transfer all those videos to this channel. And until next time, thank you, God bless, and namaste.